Hello to Mexico. Is that your entire army? Again, almost. Go away, you don't want the province. And I think we can speed up a little bit. When will you be getting there? 16th? Okay, soon enough that they changed their mind. Yeah, that's also mountains. Very annoying. But we should just concentrate on that siege. As soon as we have this siege, the rest of Mexico shouldn't be much of a problem. Never mind. They have a huge fort right before their capital. The other forts here are just no problem. Go and sit there. Cause that way it will be very nicely blocked off. No, Mexico, you're not getting your white piece. June 26th. July 12th. Plenty of time. Good. How our colonies doing? Oh, we're having another person's colony. Divine, 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 divine. Is there one more incoming? I thought I sent one there. Maybe it was destroyed. It's always a possibility. Go and explore! and security silence for a bit. Oh no. No. 6,000 gone. And they will also be gone. No, no. Well, they might not squish, but they're definitely gonna lose. Crap, I thought I could get them together. I didn't see the Mexicans. They actually moved there already. Yay! There we go. Go on siege. <laughs> Mexico still wants white peace? No. I don't think so. Where are they going? Are they going to try to attack here? I should probably see how much of a defense I have. I would have a decent defense. Actually no leader, that's bad. They're attacking in the hills. It's bad for them. 
come on. Really? Whoa! Now that is just ridiculous. I attacked in the hills and this just squashed my army. It's not like that there. Did I have to take advantage? Nope. No, I have to take advantage. Just absolutely bonkers. Which one's calf? Oh no, infantry and calf. bad. Stop you. Damn you, Mexico. Just damn you. Damn you all to hell. Whew. Average claim and fairly good stats. I'll take him. I'll take him. Claim is good enough. You're getting a bunch of legitimacy. Just no. Screw you. I'll certainly not accept anything like that. <laughs> Full infantry stack. Well, infantry can do wonders as well. Not as great as it would be with Sweden. So pretty damn great. Also, in yesterday's multiplayer game, I had the Civil War event, and I would say that's one of the most annoying. Because you don't seem to be able to avoid it. If you have a bad ruler, you just have a bad ruler. And you're just gonna have to deal with the event, I guess. And I had to. That was quite terrible. I was left with a ton of loans and no more manpower. After which, Muscovy attacked, which was wonderful. The best near bankruptcy war ever. Hello there. Come and attack me in the hills. Oh, they might actually go ahead and do it. They're bastards, that's why. Bastards with very good luck. How good is their attack now? Still at military tech 22. So we should have quite the advantage here. Actually, this is full of the old infantry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Fucking god, general of theirs. I'm sending all my troops to back up. Oh, oh. 
Am I able to defeat him? It looks like it. His infantry is falling. The cannons have no chance in the front row. Great! Screw you, Mexico. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's going to a safe spot, isn't he? Yeah. Oh no, he's not. Oh yes, it is safe. Damn it. Still, we have him pinned. We have him quite well pinned. I've been saying that for like the last half an hour, haven't I? We have him pinned, guys. We totally won. We totally won. We have, you know, negative 20 war score, but we totally won. And colony self-sustaining. Excellent. I will gladly send another one. No Mexico. Calling damage. No. I could just send half those guys over. Go. Go to the colonies. Save the colonists. Is he still going? He's going over there? Good. What? Oh yeah, we have two colonies up here now. Which I'm fine with, because I really want to get North America all filled out. I mean, there might be other decent ways to go about this, like... Go and colonize up here. Because that's a lot of land that we can just have under us. That's fairly useless land. On the other hand, so is most of Mexico, or so is most of our land up here. Fairly useless, but at least it's our land. So I want to see how much we have right now. Okay, we still need 150 to be an empire. Is this in the mountains? No, it's in the hills. I'm sorry, Caribbeans, but we can't help you right now. Really can't. Still need to recover from this war afterwards. Oh, there's at least one siege done. Let's see, from which angle do you not have one? So here, you don't have river crossing from here. Okay, you can do that, we can attack there. Good job, Mexican rebels. This war is an offensive war. And I'm going to take as much of Mexico as I humanly can. But I'm probably going to go something more along the lines of the coast. I mean, I do want to co connect my land here. But I also just want the coast, as much of the coast as possible. Why? Because that allows us to go down south a lot easier. As well as... We'll just make their navy weaker. And in general, just the coast is more valuable than inland provinces. Oh, that would be a fine peace deal. <laughs> right, guys? Yay, positive war score, because we sieged some castles. And if you siege that one, we can go and defeat him up there. Screw you, certainly no white peace. Yeah, <laughs> 26 from battles, so we get negative 15, we get over negative 15 total. Oh, never mind, no one controls the war goal. Ah, good job, rebels. That's why I got positive war score now. It'd still be at negative if, I'd, if it wasn't for the rebels. 
Oh, so screw you, Mexico. I'm coming in with more troops. To fuck you over very, very hard. Well, you lost more troops. That's what counts, right? It's all about the numbers. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I bet he's hiding about down there. I might be able to squish him. That'd be beautiful. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh freaking yes. Going into the hills? Sure, why not? I don't want to afford to lose the siege. Plus we are mainly using mercs now. Much reduced army size, but a lot more mercs, so we can just throw people at walls again. Almost like we did with the Ottomans. Okay, and great. Just continue on. They don't have enough to siege anyway, so that's fine with me. They can just stay there. Do nothing. Also, I would like to get down here so we can declare war on these Native Americans. Guess they should be an easy conquest as well. Huh, also, that's not even too much overextension. Suffer 10 overextension because it's all colonized. Colonies. Great. Oh, I'm loving it. Are you teaching it back? No. Screw you, Mexico. I won. I won. I won. I won. I won. Finally. Bartering increases. Do we have that much? No. Screw you. Bartering increases though. Eh, I'm not paying a hundred admin. Are you insane? Now Mexico still has two castle castles left down here that we might not be able to siege because that one is huge. Just insane. Good. I'll soon give us anything we want. Because of their war exhaustion and everything. They will not need a 100% war score for a 100% deal. Not even close. Oh, chat is not working. I'll just have to reload real quick. Sorry, guys. So if you said anything in the last five minutes, I might not have seen it. Another peace offer, thank you, no thank you. Knowledge is power or ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is such bliss. We all know that ignorance is bliss. And Connie self-sustaining, excellent. Excellent. For full annexation, sadly, it's too much war score. It will probably not even be that much overextension because it's all colonies, and colonies don't give overextension. Like you, we will get ten from taking all of this. God, I would love to take more of the coast. He 
he's sieging his capital back? No, somebody else is sieging his capital back. Tomek? Are you an attacker against Mexico? What war is this? The Mexican war? No. You are the attacker. Colonies? Nothing really. You can take as much as you want. The thing is, because there were colonies, they will cost zero overextension. They will be very cheap to court as well. The only thing that is bad is they still cost a lot of, you know, value here in the peace offer, so we can't fall an X him. But this will weaken him significantly. This peace deal. And, well, next time. We will be able to destroy him quite handily. Oh, we can't go there. Lame. Well, I guess we're just sitting here. Until he gives up. Or we could ask for military access, which he'll actually give us. Maybe the better option. Just maybe. No, Mexico. You know exactly what we want. And you're not even that far off. Let's just go over there and see how long it takes to see that castle. It will probably be way too long. I wish I could annex more. Just wish I could annex a lot more. I'll just take Mexico. <laughs> uh, well, I could take 1% more war score, so. this instead. Well, you can go to a hundred, but no higher than that. Hmm? Well, it went down because we sieged a province. It's cheaper to take a province if you have it sieged. If you didn't know, then, well, the more you know. Like the war score cost has a slight increase if you have not, if it don't have it sieged yet. But it's only very slight. As you saw, it was like one percent because we were demanding this province, which we didn't have sieged. Do we have to ask for separate? Yes, I do have to ask for military access separately here. If I want it, which I might. Getting me a little bit more war score. Oh, come on, you know you want to peace. You know you want to. Ask for military access? Sure. And we'll just continue. Teach all of the land and more of it. <laughs> well, that's at the turn of the century, that means 1700s. I will be focusing in on England. I do have something in Europe. Just very little. <laughs> Just go over there. 
You're finished. You're finished. Good. I th me thinks we're gonna go and just settle in New Zealand. There's not much sense in trying to wrestle here. Well, I do need that one prov province here. Ooh, they changed the culture to English. How dare they? Which will require quite a bit of build-up. So that will that's what we'll get to right after this war with Mexico. As soon as we're done here, we're gonna go and destroy some mercs, or pay some loans, and start building that army over here in England. We're gonna need a huge army and a decent navy. And how about you go and circumnavigate the globe? <laughs> uh, he might get lost on the way. But at least I'll have done it. Irish ideas suck. They're not very good at all. They used to be great for republics, but now that they don't get the 0.5 republican tradition anymore, nah, they kind of suck. I mean, the unrest is nice, but other than that, they just have very mediocre ideas. Well, there, Mexico, will you not peace out yet? Still nowhere near close. But if this fort falls, then he'll peace out immediately. Well, his capital is besieged in another war. And it's very hard to get to. I will get to peace out as soon as this fort falls. I'm very confident of that. Well, yes, but they used to have 0.5 Republican tradition. Which, if you know anything about republics, if you get some extra Republican tradition, you are just golden. You are amazingly off. You can do anything, really. There's just a threshold of Republican tradition, which you need. I thought there was some Republican tradition around here. No, I thought there was point one. Nope, apparently not. Actually, never mind. The one that's legitimacy, I think, turns into Republican tradition if you are... If you are a republic, it's a legitimacy one, right? Yes. I think that one is point zero one republican tradition. Legalize divorce if you are a republic. So it's going to be quite nice. It was rebels at one point, but now it's not anymore. Hamburg, Novgorod. Those are still the best ones for republics. And who down here? There was also somebody in Italy that had plus 0.5, which is why you'd never really wanted to form Italy with that nation. Peace offer from Mexico. No. Again, this siege is almost done. 